Hola, everyone. Welcome back to Travel Lovers Must Know. Today, we're diving into the heart of Greece. 10 Best Places to Visit in Greece Like its mythical sirens, Greece has long lured travelers to its scintillating shores. Across an expansive island archipelago, traditional whitewashed villages, azure seas and waterfront tavernas await. Its mountainous mainland, rich in UNESCO World Heritage listed ancient sites, treasure-filled museums and spirited cities, is no less fascinating. Here are Greece's greatest hits. 1. Athens. Best for ancient sites. Wherever you walk in Greece's storied capital, the ancients are everywhere, whether you see it or not. From the Acropolis, whose jewel in the crown is the 5th century BCE Parthenon to the underground metro, some of whose stations feature archaic finds, Athens is teeming with historical sites, monuments and museums. A combo card affords entry to the Acropolis and six more sites, while the Acropolis Museum is also a must-see. Athens, easy to tackle on foot, is also one of Europe's liveliest metropolises. Stroll through Old Town Plaka, flea market famous Monastiraki and Hippangrati. By night, catch a live band in Gritty Gazi, catch a movie at an outdoor cinema in Thyssen, or go bar hopping off the main commercial street or moo. Local tip. Book tickets online for a reinvented Greek tragedy or dance troupe performance at the Odeon of Herodes Atticus Amphitheater as part of summer's Athens Epidaurus Festival. 2. Thessaloniki. At the crossroads of East and West, where the Romans, Byzantines and Ottomans have held sway over the centuries, Thessaloniki tempts serious foodies. Bugatsa, a phyllo pastry pie usually filled with semolina custard, spinach or mince meat, makes for a hearty breakfast. Pick up olives and spices at the olfactory awakening open-air markets and Pontic cheeses from indoor food hub Modiano, which dates back to 1922. In the former oil merchant district of Latidica, Mesodopolia served dishes revealing strong Anatolian and Middle Eastern influences, customarily with fiery clear spirit Siporo. Planning tip. Thessaloniki is also renowned for its fish and seafood, served with fervor and pride whether it's a backstreet taverna or an upscale restaurant. Bookings are recommended for the latter. 3. Santorini. Best for romance. Regardless of whether you're coupled up or not, it's hard not to fall for Santorini's charms. Whitewashed and pastel-hued cube-shaped homes cling to steep cliffsides above a cobalt Aegean and the famed caldera, formed by volcanic eruptions over millennia. Weave your way through the narrow alleyways of the postcard-perfect village of Oya amid blue-domed churches. Bathe in thermal springs warmed by an active volcano. Splay out on black sand beaches and don't miss the prehistoric settlement of Akrotiri, which features an advanced drainage system. Planning tip. Book a private tour of Santorini's smaller wine estates, whose new generation of vintners is breathing new life into traditional wines like Mezzo and Nicheteri. 4. Mykonos. Best for nightlife. In the 1960s and 70s, Mykonos hosted roving hippies, celebrities and moneyed jetsetters who flirted and danced till the sun came up. Five-star hotels and swanky brand-name restaurants may have altered the landscape and driven up prices but the fabled Cycladic Isle still reigns supreme when it comes to summer nightlife in the Mediterranean. Revelers can choose from the thumping bars lining Little Venice in Hora, beach bars, cabaret restaurants and iconic clubs like Seaside Cavo Paradiso, where illustrious music DJs fire up the crowd. Planning tip. August is Mykonos' busiest month. It's also when you can witness the hottest DJs and surprise appearances by music artists, including prominent hip-hop names. 5. Kythnos and Seraphos. Best for relaxing. If peaceful sandy shores, unassuming waterfront tavernas and sleepy villages are more your style, the low-key West Cyclades Isles of Kythnos and Seraphos are worth considering. Kythnos has deep, sheltered bays and tamarisk-dotted silver sand beaches, among them Lefkis and Nausa. Wallet-friendly tavernas line the laid-back fishing settlements of Lutro and Maria, while wind-whipped Seraphos, a two-hour ferry ride from Piraeus, features sweeping sandy beaches, sheltered bays, ghostly mining relics and a jewel-like hilltop capital whose neoclassical town hall stands sentinel over the buzzy main square. 6. Milos. Best for beaches. A collection of over 70 beaches. Sea caves hidden beneath limestone cliffs and technicolor traditional boathouses are just some of the reasons why mineral-rich Milos has won the hearts of many travelers. Evidence of its volcanic origins are seen in the lunar-like landscape of Sarakiniko, where the more daring dive into a jade-colored Aegean. Arrive early at Gironda's beach to nab the generous shade of caves and enjoy floating silently in still waters. Planning tip. Save a couple of days to spend on Kimolos, a small isle northeast of Milos reachable by ferry. 
One of its most impressive beaches is Prasa, where coarse, blindingly white sand shows off shallow, aquamarine waters to full effect. 7. Corfu. Best for sailing. Tranquil, turquoise seas, fur-studded hillsides and a regal capital make Corfu one of the most beautiful parts of the country to go sailing. The Ionian Isle is the ideal starting point for novices who can take a sailing course and gain certification. Afterward, join a flotilla for a leisurely cruise around Corfu, dropping anchor at Kalami Bay, of the Durell's fame, and lush Paleocostritza. In Corfu town, admire Venetian fortresses, the French-designed Liston Arcade and the Palace of St. Michael and St. George, built during the Isle's British administration. Planning tip. Few venture to Arakusa Island, northwest of Corfu, which is blessed with pristine beaches and shallow cerulean seas. 8. Rhodes. Best for families. Rhodes has long been the Dodecanese's biggest drawcard thanks to its atmospheric UNESCO World Heritage-listed medieval old town. Transformed in the Middle Ages by the Knights of the Order of St. John into a formidable fortified city, it fell to the Ottomans, who erected mosques, baths and houses, many of which have been restored. Youngsters might envision armored men on horseback thundering down the cobblestone street of the Knights. Make sure you visit the Palace of the Grand Master, which features stunning Roman and early Christian floor mosaics, and the Church of Our Lady of the Castle. Planning Tip book a state-licensed tour guide to show you around the old town for a full picture of its long and fascinating history. 9. Crete. Best for culture vultures. Crete, Greece's largest island, abounds in historical sites, well-preserved monuments and modern museums. Wander through the Minoan-era palaces of Gnosis, Malia, Festos and Cato Zakros. Stroll along the Venetian harbor in Hania, lined with Ottoman monuments such as the Kuchik Hassan Mosque. Trek up to Byzantine and Venetian fortresses such as the Forteza in Rethymno and Castelli in Hania. In the east, the 16th-century Venetian fortress on Spinalonga Islet reveals a harrowing, more recent past as a leper colony. Among noteworthy museums are the Heraclion Archaeological Museum, Chania's Maritime Museum of Crete, and the Museum of Ancient Eleutherna in Rethymno. 10. Epiros. Best for nature and adventure. In Greece's west lies Epiros, a remote region of soaring mountain peaks, fast-flowing rivers and hidden rock canyons. Hike to the alpine heights of Mount Timphy's Dragon Lake, which freezes over in winter, or traverse the thick forests, inclines and descents of spectacular Vicos Gorge. Whitewater rafting thrills and spills await in the Voidamatis or Arachthos rivers, while canyoning enthusiasts can choose from routes of varying difficulty.